So um, this is a really interesting video here. This was uh, 2020 in Illinois, and uh, Gail, you know, she would take her drone anyway, so she took it to the zoo. And, you know, fortunately in Hanoi, they let you drone in the zoo. <laughs> and um, she droned um, a lot of various things, but she wanted to drone the monkey cage. And, <laughs> like, uh, for some reason, I innately felt like, you know, droning the monkey cage is that is that humanitarian is that somewhat wrong but to be honest the monkeys got i think the monkeys are a little bored and it provided with some excitement and i i don't think they were traumatized uh, compared to some of the things people you know do to them but when you really look at this and you stop and what was amazing about gail is that you can actually see well it's the humanity but these are the monkeys um Look at the way these poor animals have been forced to live for the simple entertainment of people. I mean, these are not endangered species of monkeys, and uh, they're forced to live in a very confined area just so human beings can throw peanuts on them on a Sunday. And when I look at it, it's a very happy, funny memory, but it's also a very gale memory in that uh, she actually would do things that people didn't feel comfortable about in order to show um, what the hum what the reality of not just humans, but animals or creatures was in a situation. And by looking at this cage, you can really get the dimensions that this is the world in which those animals live and die. In. And the one thing I first, I think I first admired about her when I met her was she was unconventional and in, you have to be unconventional to be honest. You, All great philosophers have to be unconventional. Um, you have to do things that make people feel a bit uncomfortable.